All right, Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly sidereal forecast for August 31st through September 6th. My name is Athen. So we have a couple things this week. It's kind of split up into two parts. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, we have uh, Venus conjoining up to Mars as well as the Sun opposing up to Neptune. And then over the weekend, the Sun trining up to Pluto and Venus going direct. So let's see what this looks like in your chart here. First of all, there's a lot of activity in your ninth house, like I've been mentioning. Uh, this is the house, your house. It's the house of travel, of expansion, of philosophy, of spiritual studies, especially of the wisdom type, uh, connecting abroad, connecting to people abroad, broadcasting, publishing, um, anything that is essentially expanding, um, especially the wisdom type. And uh, your intent here, there's a lot of focus. There's uh, opportunities here with Jupiter transiting this part of your chart. And now this week, coming into it, uh, Mars enters it. And what's significant about this is that Mars actually hasn't been in a friendly sign for quite some time since Aries. And so now there is this shift. And I think there's a strong motivation for all of us, and especially for you Sagittarians, because it's your house and Mars is getting close to the top of the chart. So your energy should increasingly get stronger. Now, there is an opposition, the sun opposing up to Neptune. So in terms of our vision, in terms of you know our outlook, our insight, um, there might be a bit of a haziness. And it's important here to balance uh, the practical day-to-day -day stuff, which has been so important for you to relax into. Neptune in your third house, things relating to like your correspondence, your daily activities, uh, realizing that there's so much of that that is not in our control and there's so much of it that is uh, part of the tides and to relax and have that faith and trust and surrender that everything in that area is unfolding as it should, as it will. And um, there can be a tremendous uh, relief in that. And that's a great way to work with Neptune. And it just it depends on our own personal ability to relax uh, into that unknown, into that uncertainty. And it could also be uncertainty about, you know, these ninth house matters. If you are traveling or writing a book or, you know, publishing, you know, you know anything relating to like sharing wisdom or university studies, you might feel like you're not sure where things are headed in that direction. And that's totally natural. And, and the best advice I have with that is to have that faith and trust that there is um, that greater picture involving that area, which is guiding you, um, especially this week, but has been with this um, opposition up to Neptune. So uh, with that being said, yeah, you know, uh, this is really about seeing that there is no difference between uh, what we see and what's possible in life as well as what's practical. So seeing both what's possible is with, with what's practical, what's practical is with what's possible. And um, what you'll find is, is that there's a good synergy between what's usually like the left side of the brain with the right side of the brain um, in terms of what we can um, you know what life is about and uh, but it's a grounded sort of philosophy so stay grounded with your philosophies that's been important anyways with your ruler Jupiter opposing up to um, Neptune but um, yeah especially but you know the best types of philosophies for you right now are the ones that are really allow you to have that faith and trust whether it's Christ teachings Buddhic teachings or whatever it is personally for you so that's the early part of the week. Also, I want to mention, too, is that Venus is um, retrograde um, all week until the weekend. And that's really involving your 6th and your 11th house. So if you've been reflecting on the routine stuff, continue to remodify, redo the routine um, area of your life, as well as any type of connections that you have with friends or groups or organizations, since Venus does rule your 6th and your 11th. Um, and what you'll find is, is putting energy into those matters Monday and Tuesday with Mars can be a great way of utilizing it. Um, so it might be, you know, really getting that regiment taken care of. It might be you decide to socialize or get, you know, join a community or get involved with some sort of group Monday and Tuesday, which would be good. But treat it all as a learning process because Venus will be retrograde. And then going into next week, a lot of those 6th and 11th house matters will start to move forward for you. So, yeah, there is this excitement and energy. And so I recommend expanding your horizons, wisdom, sharing, sharing your wisdom with others, reading and anything else that is uh, expanding your horizons this week. Now, over the weekend, the sun does trine up to Pluto. So this has been in your first house, you guys stepping into your power generally and uh, making change with who you are and what you're about. It's been the ongoing theme for many years. So there's a tremendous power this weekend, and I think naturally you'll want to make some significant changes. Um, there's this forceful energy to get things done in that ninth house, so uh, that you'll probably feel over the weekend. It's a good weekend for clearing out the cobwebs, the old you know, garbage basically of the ninth house, whether it is philosophies or literally like through what your outlook is on traveling and things like that. But stepping into your power, making change there is a very good way of working with this. We're going to have a solar eclipse in a couple of weeks, depending on when you're watching this. So that's going to be, um, you know, the new moon 
type of energy of new beginnings, but very impactfully, very transformative, transformatively involving that ninth house, which you'll find culminating in about six months. So it's a good weekend for setting the stage with that and uh, clearing out and, and making whatever changes might be necessary. But I think you naturally will with this trine. And uh, Venus going direct. So a lot of those things relating to that routine and uh, even this uh, philosophy stuff, this ninth house matters that you might be reflecting on will start to move forward as you go into the following week. All right, Sagittarius, so have a good one. Thanks for watching. If you're new to Sidereal Astrology, do check the description down below because your sign might be different. You want to watch the appropriate sign. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good one and I'll talk to you all next time.